Welcome to SOCH 331. I'm Professor Walters, the course designer and your instructor. This is the announcements page. Right now, the landing page, that is the page that opens when you log in, is set for the announcement page. This is the home page. Click on SOCH Welcome to SOS 331 or on any announcement to go from the home page to the announcements page. This is the announcement page again. New announcements appear each week at the top of the page, actually at the beginning and usually at the end of each week. These are also sent to your Queen's email address. For the opening announcement, scroll down the page for information on what to do first. Begin by clicking on Syllabus Course Information on the Course Navigation panel. Here's what you will see when the link opens. You should open and print off a copy of the syllabus, which may change. The instructor information can be found at the top of the page or the first page of the syllabus. This information can also be found on the professor contact information, professor slash contact info, on the course navigation panel. The Blackboard Collaborate or by email is crossed out. This semester, my best guess is the, we will move these to Zoom. The course description provides a brief overview of the course substance, followed by a summary of the requirements. The learning objectives will help you set goals that align with those of the course. And in the section that follows this on the syllabus, you will find the required text and information on how to access them. Here, and on page three of the syllabus, you'll find a brief summary of the assignments and their weights. The discussions, the worksheets, the final presentation, quizzes, and the final. Next, per the instructions on the announcements page, click on Weekly Assignments. Inside, you will note that the topics and dates for each folder align with the information on the syllabus. The weekly folders for subsequent weeks will be closed when you begin the course. Each Sunday at midnight, the assignment folder for that week will open and you will receive an email announcement, typically accompanied by a list of, in quotes, to do for that week. Scroll down to policies on the syllabus. These can also be found on policies inside the course information folder or link on the Blackboard site. At the end of Unit 1, that weekly folder, Unit 1, you will be required to complete a checklist survey indicating that you understand and agree to the course, Queens, and CUNY policies. You can also click on the calendar to see due dates across the semester. Mine is a little more complicated than yours because I have three different courses. For most weeks, you will participate in a two-week discussion using the Blackboard Discussion Board. Each forum will open at midnight on Sunday before the beginning of the week. You can't read all of the text on this slide so easily, but this is easily readable on the course site. For most weeks, the discussion topic or prompt appears inside the weekly folder with a link to the forum that looks like this. You can't read the text on this slide, but it is, again, easily readable from inside the weekly folder. Each topic aims at helping you exchange ideas central to the course goals. A grading rubric is attached to each forum. The rubric will be used to evaluate or assess your work for that learning unit. 
the rubrics actually the rubrics for all assignments can be found in my grades on the course navigation panel that is by clicking my grades on the course navigation panel next click on the course link for worksheets and final presentations note again that most of the folders are closed right now you will not be able to see them until they open worksheet one opens september 6th the assignments throughout the semester are connected the course is designed to help you complete a final a successful final project and stages with each assignment students in the past have struggled with social mechanisms mostly because they did not understand the different sociological levels and other essential concepts really through no fault of their own it was a difficult semester in the spring especially but also many students have not studied the four levels of uh, sociological analysis the macro meso uh, micro and global This semester, you will begin with a review question, or I mean a review quiz, with plenty of time to complete the items and the test. You can take the test or the quiz four times. The goal is not really to test you, but rather to provide a meaningful review of just the concepts you will need from the past or from courses you've taken earlier to succeed in this course. There will be three other low stakes quizzes, including the final. They should never be a source of anxiety. Uh, most of them are worth five points, with the exception of the final, and we will see how you do. Uh, the goal of the quiz is to you know, inspire you to read and memorize concepts as you go. Sometimes when we take courses, we think about them in terms of the assignments, the readings, how we're going to be graded, what we have to do to succeed in the course, we may forget about the underlying reality to which the materials refer. I have taken great care in a selection of reading materials and the creation of assignments that move away from the disconnected and disembodied abstractions of early theorists toward the contemporary global world populated by real people who connect across different levels in ways we are now only beginning to understand and explain as sociologists. And so we begin with, in week 1B, 1B, what is a person, a topic rarely touched on in sociological theory courses. Nonetheless, our assumptions about this topic can provide an unsettling foundation if left unexamined. I'm very much looking forward to working with you this semester. I want my sincere best wishes for your success in this course and in all your courses.